Okay, succession agitations. We should review 1914 amalgamation conditions. Absolutely. The lawmaker representing Iko Tekpene, Senatorial District Senator Christopher Ekbeyong, has expressed concern over agitations for succession by the different sec sections of the country and advocated that the country should review the conditions of the 1914 amalgamation. Preach. Like this is what we, this, exactly, these are the conversations that we need to be having. Ekbeyong, who spoke Saturday in Uyo, said tribalism, ethnicity, nepotism, and marginalization are factors fueling such agitations in recent times. Very true. He recalled that decades ago when such issues were not there, that Nigerians were living peacefully and happily together wherever they find themselves, irrespective of tongue, tribe, ethnicity, and even political affiliation. Well, the fact was that at that time, we were colonized. So we weren't even making big decisions in terms of having autonomy over our resources and all that. We were colonized. We had a power over us that was making all the decisions and we had to go with the flow and just go with it. You know, of course, we did fight for our independence, absolutely. But then at the time, we weren't controlling ourselves. We weren't. That's just the truth. We had a whole different system of government run by the British. So, of course, we were, we were not going to relate. At that time, it was even easier for us to be united because we were fighting towards one cause, independence. He, um, his word says, I think the time has come for us to sit down together and talk about the future of Nigeria. We should sit down and look at the conditions that brought us together under the 1914 amalgamation. It is time to review the 1914 marriage because it will help us resolve the issues fueling agitation for succession by the different sections of the country. We must know that if you can continue to live as one country after 100 years, for instance, you marry a wife and your wife sees you as a troublesome husband, after enduring you for 40 years, one day she might get up and give you conditions that the marriage can no longer continue unless she refrain from doing um, those she doesn't like. I believe with the unity of this country, however, there is need to bring an end to these issues of tribalism, ethnicity, favoritism, and marginalization threatening that unity. Before the agitations for succession were coming from the southeastern part of the country by self-determination groups such as Masop and IPOB, but together the song of succession is spreading. You can remember that recently a Yoruba group, Odua Nationalist Coalition regions, joined the succession clamor by calling for Odudua Republic. So... These are the issues and we must sit down to look at them and know whether to remain together or not. Absolutely. Spot on. Perfect. I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with what this person has said. Because, to be honest, we need to have a conversation. And um, what are we willing to bring to the table? And are we all ready for this change? Because at the end of the day, power is what? Taken, not given. So, again, it's like, what is our plan? As he has, you know indicated here we need to have a conversation like asap because with the way said it's just you know, for us to have such a thing which is i think is a revolution to be honest because we're fighting against so much stronghold um we need to have a mental revolution in the way that we think of each other of ourselves the respect in the way that we think now Depending on that and what we're able to compromise on and we're not, that would then determine if we want to stay together, which means we are cohabiting with each other. That, I mean, I know that sounds like as if we're not connected, but we are basically cohabiting with each other and adopting everyone's ideas. Or we understand or we think, you know what, my mentality, our ideologies are based from our culture, being Yoruba, Igbo house or whatever, are, uh, you know, strongly derived from that and they greatly influence they greatly influence our culture i mean the way that we think absolutely then it might be that the best situation is to separate but then again it's the knowledge is the knowledge that we all need the knowledge to understand that this country was not the result of our own accord but out of desperation to be independent, which is not a bad thing. And I think that as much as we want to talk about the 1914 amalgamation, we must also focus on the 1960 independence. Because you can't you can't tell me there's no you know contract, well not contract, but treaty or or a, a document 
to dictate the basis and ground in which we got our independence because depending on what that is we can then go back and change or whatever and then we would actually realize are we actually independent or in some ways do we have indirect rule from the british and also what is also very dodgy is that why is it that immediately after independence next thing biafrans are like okay fine let's separate now because you must the, so there must be an assumption obviously we don't know what the document is and what it says depending on why we got our independence but then there must be an assumption or at the time that when we get independence we would separate because six seven years after independence is way too early for there to be a civil war i mean a full-blown civil war it is very intense so there is something that i think we do not know as a people in which i think that beer fans know which makes them very strong to agitate for self-determination and that is why you can see the nigerian government is very much threatened of this of this set of people that's my opinion that is what it is because my opinion is based on what my assumption of our independence is and what the document actually says and i think as nigerians we need to demand for that document because that is basically yes the 94 spin amalgamation is amalgamation is very much key to why we're literally one nigeria yes um however that from my research was basically purely for money it was basically a, a deal the british did not want to take care of the north because the north was not they weren't sufficient in terms of resources and um in terms of resources to just take care of themselves and the south was doing fantastic i mean absolutely well so it was just like you know well, let's just join these countries together because funds can be transferred to the north to you know pump it up and I, again from the south because of how industrial it is that was a wise plan well according to lord lugard um not my favorite person but i think we need to focus on the 1960 um documents for independence because again it's like it's very very it's very much shady why six years after there would be a civil war i don't like that is very much intense and that is something that i think that we need to focus on and actually pay attention to because it's a bit too much but yeah that's basically it we should have a conversation are we ready for that and sometimes personally for me it can just get very it can get daunting at times because i'm like why is everyone not panicking but and because i'm thinking okay fine why is everyone not panicking my idea is like you know what let's provoke you know let's provoke the north let's provoke the south let's have a conversation you know we can't fear anything because at this point there's literally no reason to fear. like at this point, what why that would you fear anything um so yeah we actually need to have this conversation and that is basically it but then sometimes it can, i can be impatient and i'm like why are we not doing things we're meant to do now however again when the people are ready they are ready but the thing is time waits for nobody yet when they are ready they are ready and depending on how much they wait depending on how severe the damage is that will make the fight harder that's what i think put what i think about it in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe